Hey guys, what's up? Gaming and Gear here. So, today we're going to be building a home theater PC. Now, before we start, I just want to go over my guidelines for what I think a home theater PC is. So, a home theater PC, in my opinion, should be able to stream media efficiently, should have an okay amount of memory, but not like an insane amount so that you, um, will never use it because if you're using a home theater PC, odds are you're not going to be multitasking on the side when you watch a movie on your couch. You're going to be watching the movie. So, that's just my opinion on that. Let us continue. Uh, they should be able to play TV and do TV and stuff like that. And they should be pretty small and sexy. So, let's start the build off with the AMD A6 3500. This is a 2.1 gigahertz triple core CPU based on the Athlon 2 CPU architecture, not the recent FX architecture or AMD's processors. It also comes with a onboard Radeon HD 6530, which is an okay card. It'll definitely not lag when you're watching 1080p videos, but for gaming, it'll be okay. You know, you should be able to play like Bastion probably on this and fair indie games, but not not expect to be playing like Battlefield or something like that. So this is going to be a great way to start off for a build. With four, this costs forty nine dot nine nine. The motherboard is going to be a ASRock A fifty five M HVS. So this is a great motherboard, as you guys know. I am an avid ASRocker, even though I don't have one in my actual build. Um, I have an Intel motherboard, which. It's like the vanilla of motherboards. It's not good, it's not bad, it's okay, and it's fine, and it's stable. So, that's my opinion of Intel motherboards. <laughs> it's, um, it's a great motherboard, it comes with two SATA cables, it has plenty of USB 2.0 ports, VGA, and HDMI, so it's got you all covered. It has an extra lane for an X16 slot, and a legacy slot if you want to install like a sound card in there, which I... You know, would recommend if you're putting if you're putting this in a really high end home theater, like you have like a nice TV and you have a nice speaker setup, get a sound card. It also has two dim slots and supports DDR3 speeds up to 1600 megahertz, which is good because our RAM is 1600 megahertz, and that RAM is the Kingston four gigabyte stick. <clears throat> it is the DDR3 stick running at 1600 megahertz. Also, guys, if it does turn out and I didn't do my research or something like that, and this motherboard only supports 1333, or for whatever reason you want 1333, it's 50 cents less. So, I mean, I honestly would always grab this at this price because it's 50 cents more than the G Skill DDR3 1333. And if you upgrade later and you have a computer that supports, supports sorry, DDR3 1600 megahertz. You'll be able to run just fine. 4K is going to be plenty for, you know, light multitasking, doing work, and of course, watching 1080p videos. So the TV tuner is going to be a Diamond ATI. I don't know what I, why it has ATI. Never heard of ATI making TV cards. But it's an ATI Theater HD uh, 750. So... It's a TV tuner card. It'll plug into the PCI X16 slot, though it will be a little bit smaller than the actual slot. So, just a word of advice find one that uses Legacy if you're planning to install a second video card on there for you know, some TV gaming. The power supply is, or not, the case is going to be a Silverstone Black Aluminum. I know, it's a super specific name. I got the color and the material. Um, so, it's going to be 50 bucks. It looks nice and sexy. It is USB 3.0 on the front, which actually, fun little tip, the um, A55 and A75 were the first chipsets ever to natively support USB 3 before Ivy Bridge and all that other crap. So, fun little fact, uh, it has, you know, power reset, lots of vents, and it's got full room for everything. Also, one side note, you are going to have to buy a low-profile um, little thingy for the TV tuner if you want to install that because it, this case only uses low profile but the TV tuner is low profile low profile ready in case you want to do that so great the power supply is going to be a cooler master 460 watt this is their elite series I've used this power supply 
uh, in one of my builds, which that build stays on constantly, literally through days and weeks and months. So it's rock solid. It keeps on displaying those pictures on the screen while it's not being used. And it's a great power supply. Uh, it's 80 plus, just regular 80 plus, and it should be more than enough power. So the hard drive is going to be a Western Digital Caviar Blue. This is going to be 320 gigabyte flavor. It runs at 7200 RPM, and it has 16 megabytes of cache. So for this hard drive, you really can't go wrong. I mean, 320 gigs is, you know, a good amount if you're only going to be watching movies or streaming movies or doing other stuff. So, but if you want a bigger hard drive, for five bucks more, you can get the 500 gig one. Or you can get, I think, I think you can also get a Hitachi um, 500 gig one of similar specs if you want to not go Western Digital. Digital. So, of course, as always, we have a Samsung DVD burner for 17 bucks, which is absolutely necessary in a home theater PC in case you want to watch the DVDs. Ugh, those things. So outdated. Um, I don't even know what that voice was. And then, of course, we have Windows 7 Home Premium 64-bit. I mean... It's Windows. So, what's the total for this build? Well, the total for this build, after, you know, all the stuff adding up, is only... Oopsie poopsies, that was not what I meant to do. This is the beauty of recording this live, folks. The total is only $437.91, which, you know... For home theater PC, PC, that's pretty freaking good. If you want to take out the uh, TV tuner card, which, if you don't need it, that's 40 bucks less. So you could, you know, buy another 4 gig stick and ramp it up to 8 gigs. Buy a low profile um, uh, video card like the uh, 6450 to bump up that, even though the 6450 wouldn't give a great bump. So, that's going to be it for our video today. Please remember to rate, comment, favorite, and subscribe. And if you have an idea for a PC build, please private message me on YouTube, and I'll see what I can do. Thanks for watching, and have a nice day.